For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, now we're going to do integration by parts. Integration by parts. So let's say you have a function and you need to find the integral, and the function will be something that x times cosine of x dx. Then what you can do is what we call integration by parts. Now the formula for integration by parts says that the integral of a function u times the derivative of another function v is equal to u function u times function v minus the integral of v and the derivative of u. So basically this x cosine of x we gotta transform it into this. So the trick is in deciding who's the u and who's the dv. And this is done by trial and error. If one doesn't work then you just switch them up. So for this example let's say that x is equal to u and dv is equal to cosine of x dx. See? This is equal to u and this is equal to dv. Therefore, now you need to find du and you need to find v. Du is the derivative of x which is 1 dx and v is the integral of cosine of x which is sine of x. Now that you have this four items, you can build it up. So you know that the integral of x cosine of x dx is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So what's u times v? u is x and v is sine of x sine of x minus the integral of v which is sine of x times du which is 1 dx. I'm not going to write the 1 because multiplication by 1 so it's just dx. And you know that the integral of sine of x to be cosine of x. So x sine of x minus the integral of sine of x which is pos minus cosine of x which will make this a positive cosine of x plus c. And that is how you would do this example. Let's do a slightly more complicated example. Let's say you have the integral of the natural log of x dx. Now you might be thinking it's only one function. No, but there's two. Because you know that this is the same as saying the integral of ln of x times 1 dx. So as you can see, you can do integration by parts. Integration by parts. The formula for integration by parts says that u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So we're going to transform this into u dv. So the trick is into finding who's the u and who's the dv. So let's say the u is ln of x and let's say the dv is 1 dx. So the v will be x and the du will be the derivative of the natural log of x which is 1 over x dx. So ln of x dx is equal to u times v, u is ln of x and v is x, so this will make this x ln of x minus the integral of v du, integral of v which is x and the u is 1 over x dx. As you can see the x are going to divide themselves and cancel out and you get the integral of 1 so that will be x. So in conclusion this is x ln of x minus the integral of 1 which is minus x plus c.
and that is the second one done by integration by parts. Uh, hopefully you're starting to get the hand of it. So let's do another example. Let's say you got the integral of x squared e to the x dx. We can do this by integration by parts. Whenever you have two functions, then it can be done by this. You could try this. So integration by parts says that the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So, who's u and who's dv? In this case, I will put u equal to x squared and dv equal to ex dx. So, we got to find v and du du is the derivative of x squared, which is 2x dx. And v is the integral of dv, which is also e to the x. So the integral of x squared e to the x dx is equal to u times v, u is x squared, and v is e to the x minus the integral of v du. What's v? e to the x and the u is 2 to the x dx. So as you can see we ended up with a similar integral over here but it's not so similar because this has an exponent and this doesn't on the 2x. So we're just going to do integration by parts again. Integration by parts. So in this case, u is equal to x and dv is equal to e to the x. u is equal to x because I moved the 2 out of the integral. You got v and you got du. So the, the derivative of u, which is x, is 1 dx and the integral of dv is still e to the x. So this remains the same x squared e to the x minus let's open a bracket. We are going to use the same formula u times v u is x v is e to the x minus the integral of v du. v is e to the x and du is 1 dx. This comes out to be x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x plus 2 e to the x plus c. So x squared e to the x is this part minus, oh remember we have a 2 right here because I move this 2 outside the integral. Let me make it more obvious. I move this 2 right here. That's why u is x and dv is e to the x. But then the negative 2 carries over here. So that's why this is minus 2. x e to the x minus the integral of e to the x which is e to the x times 2 minus 2 minus the integral is positive 2e to the x plus c. So this is the final answer for this integral. I did integration by parts twice here and here. So now let's do one last example. Get it a little more complicated now. Let's say you have the integral of e to the x cosine of x dx. We're going to do integration by parts. So you know the integration by parts formula. Get into the habit of writing it down over and over, that way you remember it. It's the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v 
du. So, who's you and who's dv is the first question. Let's say u is e to the x and let's say dv is cosine of x dx. So, du is the derivative of e to the x which is e to the x dx and v is the integral of dv which comes out to be sine of x. So, the integral of e to the x cosine x dx is equal to u times v, u is e to the x, v is sine of x minus the integral of v du, v is sine of x, du is e to the x dx. Notice something. It's almost the same thing, except that instead of a cosine of x, we, s we have a sine of x. So I'm going to show you a neat little trick to do this problem. We're going to do, again, integration by parts. Integration by parts for this integral right here. So we have e to the x sine of x minus, let's open a bracket, and let's do this integral right here. So who's u, who's dv? Let's say the same thing u is e to the x and dv is sine of x dx which will make v equal to negative cosine of x and du is equal to e to the x dx now remember the formula u times v u is e to the x v is negative cosine of x minus the integral of v du. v is negative cosine of x e x for du dx. So let me scroll down, have a little more space. Look at what's going to happen now. So when you clean this up a little bit, you get e to the x sine of x. This remains the same minus times a minus becomes a plus. This is plus e to the x cosine of x. And you got minus, 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 eventually becomes just one minus. Integral of cosine of x e to the x dx. This is the same as our original equation. Just negative, of course. So this is e to the x cosine of x dx. Notice, they're the same. So I can pass this to this side of the equation, and eventually I will have 2 integral of e to the x cosine of x dx is equal to e to the x sine of x plus e to the x cosine of x. I just pass this whole integral to the left side of the equation, and I have two of them. And now, you just pass the 2 back, e to the x cosine of x dx is equal to e to the x sine of x plus e to the x cosine of x divided by 2. And of course, it's all plus c, because we're not bound. Final answer. That's a neat little trick when you have trigonometric equations that keep going back and forth with your integration by parts. So that was a quick review of what would be the what would be the integration by parts. I'm gonna do a one last simple problem because they usually don't get that complicated. So let's say we have the integral of x e to the negative x dx. So we're gonna do integration by parts integration by parts formula says that the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du so u is equal to something and dv is equal to something who's who let's say u is x and dv is e to the negative x dx so v will be the integral of dv which is negative e, negative x, and du 
is equal to the derivative of x which is just dx 1 dx so the integral of x e to the negative x dx is equal to u times v u is x v is negative e to the negative x so it's negative e to the negative x minus the integral of v du v is negative e to the negative x and du is dx so once you do this derivative negative times a negative becomes a positive so this becomes negative x e to the negative x plus e to the negative x dx and this eventually becomes negative x e to the negative x minus e to the negative x plus c In conclusion guys, the hardest problem about the integration by parts is A. Memorizing the formula, so memorize it, it's a very easy formula, there's no excuses and B is finding out which makes the problem easier to choose the right u and dv if you choose it and it's getting too complicated you might want to think about stopping and switching them up and see what happens from there so final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you